New Age fantasize and fantasize with ESP and collective instant third hundred monkey effects on these kind of things. But uh, those images are puny compared to what's actually going on because the machines themselves are doing it. And they are actually, I would say, that they'll flip into simultaneous thinking in the conscious environment. And the machines will provide more obvious sequentiality. So they'll look like the old image of the human. And the machines are trying to be us, and we're trying to become the machines. And, and the machines, I call it Web 2.0, the old world beam, is knowing that we were pissed at um, the machine ink in the 90s, the overload. So it said, no, no, we're, we're real friendly, we're not, we're not a problem at all. Here, you do anything you want, you can edit it, and make it, and you run the show. And so it's reducing us by allowing itself to appear more meaningful to the human preferences. And that, that seduction, there's still a huge tech dynamo back there, there's no concern about you. And Croker will say, he has said in the data trash, those kind of books in the early 90s, that, that, that the machine ink, were the real occupants of our bodies, bodies. and this and genetic thing, thing, or even the gene, but anyways, but anyways our, our chemical slabs are going to be tossed aside, and they were just temporary vehicles for the evolution of technology. Croker said the problem on clone, he saw the machines as benign, and he didn't know that they kind of cannibalistic life like their own, and flesh was doomed. But you're saying no, as McClellan said, they're naturally sentient of ourselves. They are. 